What's up, everybody? It's me, Mr. Motherfucking Happy King in the building. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hey! So what's up, you guys? I haven't made a video in a little while in regards to the YouTube channel. I know I made the Instagram things. You guys show love for me on Instagram. Thank you. And then I made the, um, I shared it with Facebook, but I didn't necessarily translate it here because I don't know. Like, I don't know why I didn't transfer it here on YouTube. So, in regards to the weight loss update, it's Sunday, so I'm going to just give y'all an update. Weight loss for me at this point, you guys, is stagnant. My weight loss became stagnant over the past month. I haven't gained, I haven't lost, I haven't even lost, well, I lost some inches. I lost a couple of inches, and I might have lost a percent of body fat, might have. But in regards to it, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. And I realized why. As I told y'all before, I worked in a catastrophe unit, and I just wasn't balanced in my time. Like, literally, I had to work, like, additional, like, 20 hours. So, it's just not, it just didn't come out. My gym that I used to do every single Monday through Friday has become, like, a Monday through Wednesday gig. And then I might run the mountain on, like, Saturday or Thursdays or something like that. Or go up and down Stone Mountain and try to lose the weight with the dogs like that. So, I'm still active, but I'm not as active as I was before. And I used to do all that working out in the morning. And then when I came home at the work in the evening, I would still go do a two-mile walk with the dogs. Like, that ceased. So, <laughs> I don't do that two-mile walk at all anymore. So, that's not, that's not necessarily bad, but it's not necessarily good either. So, my activity level is not as high as it once was. And then my food, in regards to meal prepping and stuff like that, I've lost some time. Like, I've lost a little bit of time to do it. So, in regards to that, it's like, oh shit, like, dude, you working six, seven hour shifts, like, this shit is crazy. So, yeah, it's kind of, it was just a time management thing for me. So, I know what's happening, I know what's going on, and I'm going to address it, and I'm going to hit this nail, and dead on the head, and, like, get it together. Like, so today, like, it's Sunday, I'm meal prepping, like I normally used to do, and then I'm going to do my, um my darnest like set my calendars and all that stuff to get my ass up and get out here and go jog every morning or like when i have the spare time just do crunches in the middle go jump rope or stuff like that and then at work of course i'm going to be taking a long ways so i came up with some things to do to address it in regards to work because i can't really change work i need my check so i gotta i have to unfortunately my weight loss has to work with that and that's something that I want everybody to understand while you're doing a weight loss journey. You write your story. You write the book. It's you. Like, this is what's going to happen for you. So this is what what your life is going to be. You have to literally sit there and real, or say to yourself, like, damn, like, in order to support the weight loss journey, in order to support the weight loss period, my health, my conscience, my doctor visit, or, like, my... um just playing out my gym membership. Like in order to do that, you have to have something to finance it. So when you have to finance it with that job, sometimes that job is going to take precedence over doing something on the weight loss realm. And then you have to make the decision which one is more important. For me, my weight loss is more important than the job. No, I'm not going to quit the job, but I'm not going to go as hard as I normally would. Like I used to be the overtime king. <laughs> like, I could easily go work 70 hour weeks and be straight. But at that time I was 385 pounds and I didn't care. I was eating McDonald's, whatever quick meal in the morning. Then we might go to the Jamaican place, a bunch of stuff in Perimeter Mall. They got all kinds of little things like farmer's basket and stuff like that. So we go in all them places and start eating shit. She ain't got no business. Then come home, uh, walk the dogs and then come lay down. That kind of stuff. No, like that's, we're not doing that no more. That stuff is over for me. So I know that I have to, I know that in regards to me working, I have to control my eagerness to get that coin. And then I also have to control my eagerness to get that weight loss too. I have to balance those two things so that they're working hand in hand. So that this job is getting the best me and this weight loss is getting the best me. And right now, the job was getting the best me, but the weight loss was not. So, and that's just what happened over the past month. <clears throat> my bad, y'all. So now I know. But since I know that, I'm going to address it, and I'm going to fix it. So yeah, 
that's where we are for me with the weight loss update and the weight loss journey. Now you guys, I just want to address this little topic here. It's plain, it's simple. When you send me messages, because some of you have been reaching out to me and I appreciate it. And y'all ask me for tips on weight loss and things like that. That's great. Like given I said my weight loss is stagnant, but I mean my resume is still 70 pounds down. So I can help you with that stuff, but I want you to hit me up and be serious. Like, don't do weight loss for attention. That is the worst thing you can do for yourself. Do not say I'm going to lose weight because the people around you seem to have a gym thing. Don't do that because it's not helping you. If you really want to lose weight, you have to make that decision and that determination that I'm going to lose weight and you have to do what it takes to do it. It's, I mean, it's simple. It's just like that. Weight loss is similar to like a, it's like a habit. It's like somebody with a habit. When you smell certain foods, it's going to trigger you and you're going to want it. And then you're going to be fiending for it. Just like that crackhead on the corner is going to be fiending. So it's food. Food is your drug. So you're going to have to be able to fight that craving for that food with those people who were around you in the gym are not around you. You're going to have to be able to balance. Now, you should have good friends who are helping you or people around you who want to support you. Or you should surround yourself with people who are living healthy lives because you'll pick up some healthy habits. But at the end of the day, it's your story. So you have to make sure that you're serious about it. So when you send me messages and you want like some help with it, I'm all here for it. But... Don't just send me the message and then just dead it. Like, just never respond to it. Or like, when I send you something, I want you to do this. You never do it. Please don't ever do that, you guys. I want you to under... Like, if you're trying to win, I want you to win. And just like I want to win, I want y'all to win too. Like, let's do it. Let's make it happen. But I've been getting that a little more lately. So I just thought I'd put that out there. I've been getting a little bit more of just, like, DMs about... I want to lose weight and then I say okay cool let's go come up with some stuff and then it's like oh nothing happened so no I don't want that I want y'all to actually want it so want it now want it but <laughs> all right so that's that part now outside of that you guys I am a certified life coach now yay go me like Look at this that they sent me. They sent me this thing. But <laughs> so yeah, I'm certified with it. So I can help you set some goals, establish them, and get some things done. And it doesn't have to necessarily be weight loss related either. It's just goal setting. I can help you with your goals. We can win together. So keep that in mind. This is the Sunday update. Hit me up if you need help. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow Mr. Motherfucking Happy on Instagram. And um, my people that's on Facebook, y'all, that's Facebook. That's that's me. That's the real me, Facebook. This is the real me, too. But that's the me. That's the Mario. Follow that, too, if you want. But that's outside of that. So, yeah. Thank you, you guys. Let's rock. Let's remain Mr. Motherfucking Happy and keep winning in this kingdom. And keep my family in your prayers in the Virgin Islands, you guys. We have not forgot you here in America. I don't know why we're so focused on Puerto Rico. I understand they're going through some stuff. I want Puerto Rico to win too. I want people to be helped there. But the Virgin Islands are a lot worse. So please go help St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas, Water Island. Like, just go help over there, everybody. All right, so thanks. This is Mr. Motherfucking Happy. Y'all have a good one. All righty.